Hey everyone, my name is Owen. I'm with Video Spot Online Marketing. I'm the president, the founder, the owner, and all that kind of stuff. But the reason I'm coming to you today is because I wanted to talk about optimal homepage design and what you can do to build a great homepage for your website or if you're going to have someone else build your website, you know, to take this information to that person so that they have a better idea of what you want to do with your homepage design. And with your whole website, I mean, your, your website should be thought of in terms of pages, right? Your homepage design, your landing page system, your blog page design, your post design, your contact page design, and I think that just about covers it. But your homepage is the window to your brand and to your content. So it really needs to pop, it should look different than the rest of your website, it shouldn't have you know, some of the same things involved uh, as the rest of your website does. So I'm gonna go through some of the things that we've learned having built you know, tons of sites for our clients, tons of great looking sites for our clients, and I'm also gonna show you examples from other people that have great home pages, and hopefully you can take some of this information and use it to build your own you know, amazing, amazing site. So the first thing I wanna talk about is, is having like tons of flash and Pa, 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 pa. That's, not, that's not necessarily essential. If it works for you and it converts your, your customers and your customers want it, then go ahead, fine. But it's not essential that your homepage have that. And, and even more so, your homepage should be working. You, you, people should be clicking through your homepage to other content and hopefully to your landing pages. That's the most essential part. So that's the first thing is that flash and, and being flashy uh, is, is, is not essential. It, it should work. Your homepage should work. Um, your homepage should function as a table of contents. That's the first thing we have here. Your homepage should function as a table of contents so that when somebody goes to your website, they can see that you've got, you know, maybe you've got a, a video here, uh, a call to action here with, with two action steps, you know. Uh, and then down here, maybe you've got the main, you know, four or five products that, that you want to work with. Um, maybe down here you've got a testimonial, and then, then over here you've got you know your blog, uh, your blog information, and then down here you've got a footer to your about us, your social media, um, and maybe a, a small contact form or something like that. But your 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 homepage should be kind of like a preview of what's to come. Um, you should have some engagement media on your homepage. So that's the second thing is engagement media. Um, you you want to have, for example, on our homepage, we have a video and we have a, a, a click through to our landing pages, to our squeeze pages. So you want to be able to, right when somebody lands on that page, um, they can engage with you and they can work with you. Now, I want to show you a picture of Taste Daily's website. I'm going to throw that up on the screen right now. And you can see that this is a big, beautiful website and there's one thing that you can do and that's put your name and email below. and then down below you've got kind of a sample of some of the content. But I love this website because it's clean, it's homepage, so it's clean, it's simple, and it engages with people right off the bat. Um, now, another thing that we would consider, the third thing is you want to have access to your content silos. And that, that kind of goes along with your table of contents. Now, I've made another video about what a silo is and, and, and how to work a silo, and, and, and that's the most effective route that you can go for your SEO and for long-term growth and, and marketability. So um, I'm putting a little box up on the bottom of the screen, and if you want to see my video on content styles, you can click that. Um, but you simply you want to have you know one, two, three, four. If those are your main keywords, you know, like dentistry, uh, dentistry in Oceanside, you know, um, uh, um, or perhaps it's a chiropractic uh, care or spinal health. Um, maybe you're working more with property management. Um, you want to talk about office space. Whatever your keywords are. That is your content silo. And so you want to have access to those on your homepage. You want your homepage to be scrollable. Okay, your homepage should be scrollable, and here's why. Because people scroll the web. We, we, we are inundated in our lives with tons of stuff going on, and so you want to be able to clearly communicate through visual imagery and highlighted words and bullet points exactly what you're trying to sell somebody. So you might want to look at your website in, um, in sections, you know, where this section, for example, is maybe right when you get on the screen, you see that section right here, and then you scroll once, 
and you see this section, which is you know your content silos and a testimonial. And then maybe you scroll a third time and you see the um, uh, the blog and, and your latest posts and things like that. And then maybe down here, there's extra space here. Maybe you don't need that space, but maybe you've got something like a, a big old call to action and then your footer. So you, you want someone, if you're going to go through that website, it's, it's completely scrollable. Now look at HubSpot's website. I'm going to put that up right now. HubSpot has divided their website into, it's almost like a long form sales page where you've got different things to look at at different you know, places in the website. So each time you scroll, you're looking at something different and I love that about their website. So another thing that you want to have is on your homepage is it connects to your main offer. You've got to have a route to go to your, to your main offer. Now, um, on our website, for example, you've got the video and you've got the buttons that lead you directly to our number one um, squeeze page and that's, that wasn't done on accident. Um, if you take a look at um, the FreshBooks um, homepage, um, that's exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing a link to their main offer. Uh, even on going back to Taste Daily, as soon as you log in, it's their main offer. It's get on my list. Um, and that's what you want to have. You want to make sure that you're connecting to your main offer. You're essentially telling somebody, hey, did you like us within the first three seconds? And if so, put your name and email here or you know, click this to, to go to our product page. Um, uh, the, the next thing is is that your homepage should define your role in the life of the viewer. Okay, so right when you go to my homepage, we hope and we're constantly improving that we see that we want to be your online marketing specialist. We want to be the company that you work with on a permanent basis to handle your online marketing. Um, when you go to um, the FreshBooks again um, uh, homepage, you see that they want to play the role of you know the invoicing specialist. Um, you need to send your viewers to a website that clearly defines what you want to do for them. If you've got a message that's muddled or wordy um, or no strong compelling headlines, um, the viewers not going to understand what you what you do and, and they're not going to understand why they're there. Um, so keep that in mind that you want to be defining your role. Uh, we, I strongly believe you should have a footer. Um, and your, your footer down here is, this for example is a three section footer. Um, we do a lot of that. We also do four section footers. And we've also built pages without footers. But that, that's not something that, that right now, it's, uh, you know, in the marketplace today, it's not something that we do. Uh, we like to have footers. And the footer is kind of like a miscellaneous um, section where we've designed the website to say, you know, take a look at this, take a look at this, take a look at this. And in case you just wanted to know us generally, take a look at this. Um, so we've given them every opportunity. I know that for me, um, when I go to a website, I often, depending on the website, I often look at the footer um, because I, I'm looking for a contact us, I'm looking for a phone number, or I'm looking for the social media. Um, sometimes it's when I'm prospecting clients online or when I'm doing um, a website, a marketing audit for, for one of my clients. Um, we want to see that they're easily to, to, to easy to contact. Um, and then just down here again, I just put you know no flash and and I don't necessarily mean no flash like the coding language where you know back in the early um, part of the century in the late nineties is all these sites would kind of like and, and, and trickle and design in front of you and faster loading times SEO Google doesn't read that it's it's a big waste of money it's a waste of time and and consumers want your website to pop up and and just look at it and and the content should speak for it so but it, you know it doesn't just mean the web language it also also just means like the bells and the whistles, you know. You just don't need a ton of that stuff on your homepage. You really need to focus on these other things. Have a table of contents. Have engagement media, content silos. Make it scrollable. Um, connect to your main offer. It should define your role. And you should have a footer um, so that people can find you and contact you easy. If they don't want to opt in, but they want to call you and buy, give them that opportunity. Um, and you know, really, the the main thing uh, about you know these pages here is it's all about your opt-in, it's all about building your list, and I think if you're watching that, you should know what that is, and if you don't know, then please view my video on, on content silos and landing pages. Uh, that's, that's important for you to know, is that your website should take you to a page where you're ingratiating that viewer to your content and making them you know, either a part of your tribe, part of your community, or converting them to sale. So uh, thanks for watching. I know this was a little long, but uh, please uh, take a look at our webinar. I put a link um, uh, below to our webinar on, on content marketing and what we do. And of course, we're VideoSpot at thevideospot.net. So if uh, you'd like to consult with us about getting your website built, uh, we're available for that as well. So thanks for watching.